The problem is they are going to take this thing and they are going to attach federal and state funding to it. Meaning if you are a business, a private organization, a nonprofit, a public organization, they are going to cut off your funding if you don't require it. So it is a de facto requirement. It's kind of like how New Jersey de facto bans concealed carry. They'll tell you it's still possible because there's a path to get there. It's the most convoluted, ridiculous, insane path to get there, and almost no one ever gets to the finish line unless they're a retired police officer. It's the same deal. They're going to give you a vaccine passport, or they're going to give you the option, air quotes, option for a vaccine passport, and then they're going to tell all of these various organizations that are a part of the, the connected, centralized, controlled society that we're in, that they have to require it or they're going to cut off their funding or cut off their tax credits or cut off their grants. It's going to happen. This is the hill we need to die on. I don't care if you consider yourself an ANCAP. I don't care if you consider yourself a libertarian, big L, small L. I don't care if you consider yourself politically agnostic. This affects you. It affects your children. It will affect your children's children. This is the final element of a police state. 